Our loved ones in spirit are always looking for ways to communicate with us, to let us know that they're at peace on the other side, to let us know that they're still very much a part of our world. You see, even though they don't have their physical body any longer, they're still very much alive in spirit. And the connection you have with them can never be broken. That love never dies. So when our loved ones are giving us signs from the other side, this is how you tell if it's a real sign or not. <laughs> so what I like to do as an example, one of my signs from my, my son Jack are heart rocks. So anytime I'm out and about and I see a heart rock, I instantly think of him. Instantly. I see a heart rock, that's him. I see a blue butterfly, that's Jack. Every single time. And you can do this with any of the signs that you're getting from the spirit world. If it's flickering lights, anything with electronics, if it's repeating numbers, notice what you're thinking just before you see that repeating number. Because oftentimes the repeating number is a confirmation. So just the other day, I was working on this project. I'd hired someone to help me with some online stuff and they weren't getting all the pieces put together the way that we needed them to. And I sat there and I was thinking, okay, maybe we should shift it, maybe we should change it. And then I kept seeing 111. I looked at my computer, it said 111. And I looked out at my phone, it said 111. I thought, ah, one, keep my thoughts positive. <laughs> keep my thoughts focused on the end result. So that was a beautiful way to receive guidance from my spirit team to keep my thoughts positive. And within the hour, we had it all figured out. So the next time the lights are flickering in your house, notice what you were thinking just before. Notice what you're thinking when you're looking at the lights flickering. If you think of a loved one, that's them. And drop me a comment below. And let me know what the signs are from your loved ones.